Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending, depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption by liking and sharing our videos. Let me give you the updates. Referendum can end Nigeria's wars without bloodshed, Namde Kanu is saying. Now, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Onyendumaz Namde Kanu, has stated that Nigerian government should embrace having a referendum as the lasting solution to end Nigeria's multifaceted wars. Onyendu said that the government is asking people not to tour the path of civil war, whereas they are the ones perpetuating actions similar to what led to the civil war, that is Nigerian civil war or Nigerian Biafran war if you like. Okay? His message was contained in a press statement he released titled Referendum, Permanent Solution to Nigeria's Multidimensional Wars. Yes, that's Onyendo released this statement. Let me quote the statement now. I quote, There is only one universally acknowledged solution to the problems bedeviling one Nigeria. It is called a referendum. It is quite ironic that Nigeria is still remembering the genocidal war of 1967 to 1970, the war which was planned to annihilate the people of the old eastern region, yet perpetuating the same actions that gave rise to the avoidable confrontation. One of the major reasons the memories of that war cannot be easily erased from the minds of Biafrans is that today the oppressors have continued to repeat the same actions they visited and us with more impunity instead of treating Biafrans as equal stakeholders in the affairs of the country they have continued to subjugate and hunt down our people with the help collaborators in government houses in the east and Igbo professional traitors based in Abuja and Lagos, IPOB family members and other Biafran agitators have remained daily targets of the oppressor and their security agencies who see the South as a conquered territory and its indigenous inhabitants ripe for elimination at all costs. The question every nation, every rational being must ask is this. Why is Nigeria living in self-denial, despite repeated warnings, sometimes from those who previously worked against Biafra, that Nigeria is fast traveling on the same highway that led to the war in 1967? Those at the helm of leadership in the zoo that laughably refers to themselves as the elites have chosen to play the ostrich. Instead of playing to the gallery with warm words and empty promises, the time has come for these mischievous political hoodlums, masquerading as elites in Nigeria, to courageously do the needful and permanently address the root cause of the ever-growing agitations across the Lugardian contraption. There is only one universally acknowledged solution to the problems bedeviling one Nigeria. It is called a referendum. This will enable, and more importantly, give the various ethnic nationalities forcibly clamped together into the undesirable British engineered colonial cage. The choice to decide whether or not they wish to continue their miserable coexistence or not. I understand the fear and apprehension of ethnic groups in Arawa call not living under Fulani hegemonic bondage. We would like to reassure them that Biafra won't abandon them. The Biafra project is designed to set every oppressed group within Nigeria free, not just the long-suffering people of the East. A referendum or plebiscite remains the best tool to determine the fate of the masses, not the dictates of half-educated, self-illiterate, self-literate, corrupt non-entities in Abuja. This is 51 years after Harold Wilson's failed attempt to wipe out the entire Igbo Biafran race from the face of the earth. The full and near agents of neocolonialism he used have now perfected the same art of using compromised individuals and efulefus in the East to frustrate a march towards freedom for all. 
they cannot succeed because the people they have been deceiving over the years are now smarter. We agree with most of the German issues raised at the webinar conference organized yesterday by Enzo Komuna, which further exposed some of the atrocities committed against Biafrans in the genocidal war 51 years ago. This was purely to let them know that we have not forgotten what they did to our fathers and mothers between 1966 and 1970 from the sensible contributions of eminent Nigerians in, the, in that gathering is now obvious to the full and evil in cabal one in the country that no one is happy with what is happening. Those frank observations emanated from the few prominent and respected Nigerians, including politicians and religious leaders. This is a reminder to those thinking that they have pocketed Nigeria to stop living in self-delusion. The use of Nigeria arising to rescue the country from those who have taken in it hostage. Biafra will soon bid farewell to the contraption and no force can stop this divine movement. IPOB is perfecting arrangement to ensure that Biafra is restored without another war. But if our pressures refuse to heed our cause for a referendum, then they will later realize that IPOB is determined to pay whatever sacrifice to free our people from this bandage. End of quote, and that's the statement of the leader of the IPOB, Onyendo Masinamdakano. He made through Ima Powerful, the media and public secretary of the IPOB. Yes, Onyendo is speaking from detention. He's, he's telling us that he is not weak, that he has not been, you know, breached to the point that he will not you know, say the truth or continue in his freedom fight. They have bruised him. They have attacked him. They have, you know, tried to demoralize him, but they have not succeeded in that because uh, his spirit is still high. He still believes in his conviction to liberate his people from the contraption. And that's why we're saying, join us to do this. Join us to liberate our people from the contraption. Join the struggle. Do not sit on the fence. Do not, you know, be indifferent in this time of, you know, moral, uh, moral conflict. Yes, we must speak out to tell the world what's happening in our place. We must speak out to tell the world what Nigerian leaders are doing to our people. We must speak out to tell the world the true situation of things because we know they are misrepresenting our people in their media, in their media. That is what they are doing. They are using their own media to represent our people, to represent the cause. So it's a time of moral conflict. We must rise up to the occasion and defend our people. And that is what we are doing. So this is the message from Onyendo to the people of the Southeast, to the Biafrans and other good people.